had been in Hawaii about eight or nine months at that point, and uh, my, I'd been a chief select for a couple months, and we were having dinner one night. And Kristen's like, Jeremiah, are you going to come home? And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm home eating dinner right now. She's like, Caleb asked you something a minute ago, and you haven't responded to him. Whoa. But that struck a chord. And then later that night after boys went to bed, she's like, you haven't returned from Korea. You were working crazy hours out there, but you were by yourself, but you're home. I need you to be home and present. And I, I really had to digest what she was telling me. Um, and that's when, uh, you know, I took a spin on the balance, the work-life balance piece. And I just, it's priorities. So I put all my personal things on my calendar so people know where I'm at, right? My family's a priority for me. So a, mod, a current example, even with the, this position, uh, my son was playing high school football. So if I'm in town, I leave work at uh, 1530 every Friday so I can get to the high school by 1600 and watch him play football. You have an, you're an NCO and you are a leader and also a mentor for your airmen, right? How do you balance that with, with Jeremiah Ross, the, the best worker ever? It takes practice. Okay. It's not going to happen overnight. It, it's really not. Um, I still make mistakes. I'll still screw something up. Uh -huh. Ooh. The worst part is thinking that I can't be effective, right? That I'm missing a mark somewhere. And, and that's an internal struggle I have is um, knowing that there's only one of me, right? And I want to I wanna engage with every airman every time Absolutely. that we're out and about, right? Yeah. Um, so that's why I try to be deliberate when I have those conversations, quick and to the point, but it's, it's just the beginning of conversation. It's growing a relationship so that those senior NCOs can come back and have a conversation with me. That's how I view service in the Air Force. It, you yeah. know, we, we, have, we serve a higher calling. Right? We do, we do. That's yeah. why we raise our right hands. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, and this is where, uh, and I may get, get ahead of one of your questions, but uh, it's where I started drinking the Kool-Aid when I was a young technical <laughs> sergeant. Really? Because prior to that, it was all about Jeremiah. Absolutely. Right? Okay. I'm the best one in four in the Air Force, and I'm going to show you, but I'm also going to tell you. Right? Okay, yeah. A little yeah. bit of cockiness, okay. right? I wasn't humble back then. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but uh, I, I ate a couple pieces of humble pie when I was a tech sergeant. <laughs> okay. And it was documented on my evaluation appropriately. Oh, wow. Um, but I, I thought I was the bee's knees, and I let my mouth get the best of me one day. Really? What happened? So what happened? Can we talk about it? Absolutely. Okay, all right. I was doing a job for like five months, and then one day our senior reporter comes up, and they're like, you don't know what you're doing. And I'm like, <laughs> what? I know what I'm doing. But they didn't really think so, right? Right. So um, uh, she, she called me out on it. Um, and I didn't take too kind of it, so I, I replied in a manner I probably shouldn't have. I didn't think this thing through. So here's what I learned from that, right? Um, I, I owned up to what I did immediately. Okay, and it's hard for people to do that? Yeah. For me. <laughs> yeah. That humble pie was like a double dose, right? <laughs> okay, wow. Okay. Um, so I owned up to it, and frankly, uh, that is the only reason why the, the director, senior list advisor kept me in the program. Okay. So I thought about it over the weekend, okay. had a beer too. <laughs> Vented to my wife and my network, and uh, ultimately I came back. He's like, "That's not me. That, that's not defining me." It became a career-defining moment for me, but it, that that behavior doesn't define who, who Jeremiah Ross. No, is, right? not at all. Uh, and uh, so I went back to my chief and I said, "What do I have to do to get back on track?" So uh, they put me on probation with the program and said, uh, "Your time doesn't count. You got to start over for that that tour." Um, but here's some other things you got to do. And they lay out a roadmap for me, okay. and they pushed me a little bit. And that's when I started realizing it's, it's not about Jeremiah. I'm looking no. left, I'm looking right, I'm looking right. up and down. It's about the bring men around. Yeah. And that's why I continue to serve this day. Okay. Thanks. Wait. Thanks for spending some time in this lovely weather okay. with me outside. Um, I absolutely appreciate what you do every day, taking care of your teammates and setting the example. Um, and I want to share that with this wing. So okay. thanks for doing what you do, and I look forward to our next conversation. No, I appreciate it. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah.